hamster fur is on inside of my body. <laughs> am I right or am I right? That would be many itchings for me though. Anyways, there is much to do for you while you are here in backyard, as you can see. I don't know if you saw the sign, like that girl from Ace of Base. <laughs> I've been waiting for that one all week. But you are free to take a self-guided tour of various points of interest, both inside and outside of the house. Yes, personally, I don't see the appeal in taking the tour. It is like, oh, this is where Smell cooks his beans at night times or something. And, uh, look, that's where Jack Bauer cat made first squirrel catching. <laughs> but actually, that last one is very of interest to me because squirrel tastes so yummy. <laughs> hey, Mike, will you be throwing any squirrel on the barbie? Good, good. Oh, by the way, everyone, that is the grill master Mike over there. Good. Clap it up for Mike, y'all. Yeah? Okay. So, tomorrow he will be cooking over at the other side where I am looking now. So, turn your gaze. I think the tent is blue like my fur. Anyway, he makes good young gums. And it's just one greenback, by the way. How about that? That is a good deal, right? But I suggest you buy from me because I won't even charge you a greenback. I will charge you like a worm or something. Yes, I am a monster of the people. And worms, let me tell you, are actually fine delicacy back in Monstrovia. Murphy and I would always put them on fried bat wings and stuff. Anyway, we'll make a deal. There are also some games to be having for uh, playing. Also for one greenback. For a worm. And Smell will be running... No, he's not running that. Who's Mom, Dad, are you running that? Molly? Good. So go play. You will be trying to hit balloon puppings with dart and things. But I won't begrudge you if you hit a crow by accident, because crow tastes good to me also, and they are being in my belly when I am happy. And, oh, I'm getting nervous. But there are also opportunity things for to be making of custom t-shirts! Yes, yes, and that will be happening inside the building of home and someone named Rube and Catherine are in there and they look like weirdos, which is good, and they will help you make your shirt and you pick it out and you actually do the printing. It is fun, yeah? Um, so it is during that process where you can see how easy it is for these dudes to make those shirts and you may start to wonder, gee whiz, dude, those FS guys really know how to mark up a piece of grandpa's old ratty wardrobe from Goodwill, right? And then they flip it for a lot of greenbacks. Maybe they aren't so nice of hippies after all. Maybe they are mean like Walmart company. <laughs> but listen, I am a monster of people, so when you have one things for a shirt, call me on my cellular and I'll send you one for maybe like a couple of worms or a crow or something. <laughs> something easy. I'm not going to gouge you, you know what I'm saying. A couple of worms, maybe a jar of possum loogie, and everyone's a winner. <laughs> okay, so Bonesa has lookings of wanting to kill me now. So I'm going to make like a VCR and hit the eject button, y'all. Thank you, everyone, and enjoy the circus! Yay! Circus! But Todd, that was quite, quite an introduction, man. Uh, a, thank you. You did a great job. <laughs> Do you try to be funny, or are you just... Bring me pizza, someone. <laughs> Yes, bring a pizza. I would love to see Vitaly <laughs> smash a pizza pizza. Come on, Cheeto. Here bring we go. Bring me za. Bring me za. What kind of pizza? Crow and rat loogie. No. Oh, who makes the crow and rat loogie pizza? Austin's pizza. That's man. right. The big sponsor of the circus. Coming in, Vitaly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> We'll give it up for Vitaly, everybody. Um, this course not very long. I'm gonna come over here. Yeah, exactly.
Well, I feel like the other guys should come up here with me as well. Where are the other guys? Where's Ho? Anyway, I, I didn't prepare anything specific to say, but this is kind of an amazing gathering on a perfect day in Austin, Texas. It's really, I oh mean. Who's your neighbor? Who's my neighbor? My neighbor, Sam. We will start with Sam. Sam. <laughs> Sam. 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 <laughs> He's going to throw a chair. So, uh, Sam is our neighbor. And is he coming over? Yeah, what's up, Sam? <laughs> favorite uh, people in Austin here. As you see, he is quite a botanist back here. And uh, every day we rehearse, and every day we rehearse for a long time, and uh, you know, we jam out as much as we can, and we come out, and he'll say, is that all you got? <laughs> yeah. He's a great neighbor. He's been looking forward to this for a long time as well, as all of us have. I'm hoping they'll get good soon. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I think it's going to be a great weekend. I hope that your travels here were easy and, and you know, stress-free and everything, but now that you're here, it can be super stress-free. Um, so thank you, first of all, for coming and calling in on the telethon and telling your friends and wearing the headbands and, and telling other people about the band and everything. This is really uh, just kind of an overwhelming experience for us. Um, I think I should make some announcements, I think. Like I said, I didn't prepare the things to say. Okay, a couple, couple key things. First of all, the show tonight is at Antone's. Doors are at 8. And uh, if you have a car and, you have some, and you're driving and you have some space, there might be some other people who didn't rent a car or don't have a car from far away. So try to pair up if you need a ride to get down there. Uh, the venue's only about four miles away. It should be easy. So uh, it'd be good to kind of meet each other anyway. So just you know, introduce yourself to somebody new and maybe they need a ride. Otherwise, uh, the bus at the top of this street goes right down Congress and then you want to do it. I think it's, I forget the number. Four plane. Okay, so you take this bus to the seven, and that takes you to Antones. So uh, maybe somebody will go with you. But what's that? One L. The one L. Okay, so you take the one L or one M. This bus stop about two miles down the road, and then take the seven to Antones. Uh, if you have a smartphone, it'd be easy. Um, a couple other announcements that weren't on the program or are messed up. Uh, the headbands are switched, so the red headband is the nighttime show. The blue headband is the daytime show, although the program says otherwise. So we just we made more of the red ones. So uh, just from a capacity standpoint, if you know, try, don't don't come to both just because we wouldn't want it to be too many people or whatever and get in trouble. But they're both going to have uh, you know special things about them. The the daytime show is going to be out in the sun. It's very sunny in the backyard, nice and warm. Uh, D Betty Vodka will be here. Um, yeah. So they'll be having vodka, and Mike's going to be barbecuing all day. Uh, in the evening time, um, there'll be a different who is a uh, White Hat Rum will be here, so just a different company, but it'll be the same one dollar thing as everything else is. Anyway, I feel like I'm being boring. Just have an awesome time. Uh, the movie tomorrow night is at is gonna be at what's the address? Five two three Barton Boulevard. I'm gonna put that on the Circus Freaks page and tweet it. That's where Dylan lives. It's another cool house like this, uh, not too far down the street. So that's tomorrow at eight o'clock for the people who are not. Here and want to see the movie take over. Um, otherwise, just keep an eye on the full service ATX Twitter for updates or the Circus Freaks group on Facebook. And uh, oh yeah, just make sure that your Anton's ticket is in your bag because we stuffed them all. But you know, human error. You never know. But uh, anyway, thank you guys for coming. Just you know, ask us if you have any questions. The yellow headbands are the people who are helping out. If you see anybody with a yellow headband, you can ask them. And. Uh, yeah, go play some games, make a t-shirt, grab some pizza. You know, thanks to Austin's Pizza, they are a major league reason why this happened. Uh, oh, and one more thing, I don't know if anybody picked up the Austin Chronicle, but there was a great little feature in there, and that happened. I got word from the editor. That happened because of that Twitter campaign that you guys did, so thank you guys very much. Let's have a great time. Roll up your dogs.